Do you say Nevarech? Is there a difference between three and four people? Three people you'll say Nevarech, and if you'll have four people you'll say uh, Baruch Hu. So um, the Gemara says, Amar Shmuel Oedem Al Yetzi Adam Esatim Inakal. Because what happens is, when you say Baruch Hu, it's you should bench, you should bless. Nevarech is let us bench, let us bless Hashem. So, um, so um, it's better for a person to be part of such a wonderful group than to exclude himself from uh, this group. So Amar Shmuel Oedem Al Yetzi Adam Esatim Inakal. He should not exclude himself from this group. And Tnan b'shleisha v'hu v'imer barchu. However, we learned that if it is three plus one, so he should say barchu. How can you say that a person should not exclude himself from this group with barchu, and he should rather he should say nevarich? And we have a clear Mishnah that says not like that. It says you should say barchu. So he says, you know what the Mishnah means? Ema af barchu. You can also say barchu. Not only is nevarich shachal shloi work. It, it is not that. Not only does that work. If you say Baruch Shacham Mishalei, that also works. And we'll call Malkam, however, in a Baruch Adif. That's for sure. That when you say, let us bench, instead of you should bench Hashem, that's better. Okay, the Amar of Adar Barahava. Now, I'll bring you a proof that really there is no difference between three and four. And three and four is the same thing. And you can say Nevarich is better. What's the proof? You learned in the Mishnah, the next Mishnah, that six people may split up. Why? Because if you have six people, then you can split into two groups. What are the two groups? Three and three. Now, if there is no difference between three and four, so let's say you have a total of six people in a group. So if there's no difference, what, there's no gain by having six people or having three people. However, if there is a difference between three and four, so that means if you're going to have six people, what are you going to say? You're going to say Baruch Hu. If you're going to have, you're going to split it into two, and you're going to have three and three, what are you going to say? Nevarech. So there is a difference. So how can you say that Tanina, the following Mishnah, Vav Nechlok and Adyot, six to ten people may split? So if there is a difference between three and four, then it shouldn't be six to ten people, it should be eight to ten people can split, not six to ten people. So the Gemara says, I am a Vishlami Nevarech, if you'll tell me that what you say is Nevarech, let us mention you, do not, do not differentiate between three and four, between Nevarech and Barcho, so then, um, and that's why you can split it from uh, already at six. How can you split it? At most, you can split it at eight. You shouldn't be able to split it at six. So obviously, Nevarich is better. No, it's good, right? Fine. We learn like that also. If you say Baruch or if you say Nevarich, you should not seize him. You shouldn't uh, haggle him. You shouldn't change him. You shouldn't say that he has to change. When a guy says Baruch it's fine if he says Nevarich. Okay? But Alkach van van ik dokken en nudnokken. That's not what it says. But it says the nudnokken is those that are precise, are uh, exact in what they do. Tyson, I said they do see them because they want to be exact and say nevarich, um, and they should not say barchu. Tyson, I said Alkach um revachaisav. And it's the, that's it. Now the Gemara says another thing. Um revachaisav shall adam nikarim talmud chacham who. Imlav. When a person makes a bracha, they, you can tell if he's a Tam Chochma or not. How can you tell? From the following uh, words. Ketzad, the Rebbe Oimer, Rebbe says like this, when you say, so we say, Uvtuvay Chayinu, right? We live through Hashem's goods. So Rebbe Oimer, Uvtuvay Hareza Tam Chochma. If somebody says, through the goods, that is a Tam Chochma, because through Hashem's goods, we get like a pipe, like a sinuris, from Hashem's good, that's how we get, that's how we live, that's our life. Umutuvay, however, if somebody says, from the good of Hashem, like a small little portion from the good, hareza bor, this is an uh, ignoramus. Why? Because uh, we don't live from a small little portion, you're being uh, too uh, cheap, like only a small little part. You have to, when you praise Hashem, it's from the greatness, you live through the good of Hashem, not only from a small part. So the Gemara says, how can you say that a small part of the goodness of Hashem is considered an ignoramus? You should bless us from your, from your blessings. So you see that it's not the whole blessing, it's only a portion, a small part. It's based on the whole that's right. When you ask for something from Hashem, you should ask for a small portion. You come like as a poor, as a poor person, as a beggar asking something. Don't be so uh, so generous on somebody else's husband and ask for a lot. You come uh, humbly and asking, give me a little, a little bit. However.
when when you come and praise Hashem, you should uh, overdo it. You not overdo it. It's not, it's not even overdoing it. But you should praise uh, greatly. And you say Yovutuvai from the greatness, from all through all the good, through the good of Hashem, not only a small portion of Hashem. So the Gemara says, how can you tell me that when when you're asking for something, you have to do it humbly? However, only when you praise do you do uh, in the great like the, you know the great way. Veshela Nami, we see when you ask, you should also ask uh, big. You should ask for a lot because it says, Except Harchev Picham Amaleu, open your mouth uh, wide and fill up. So we see clearly, you know, somebody that uh, wants a lot. So you say, Ahuba uh, that's by Divertair. So by Divertair, you're allowed to ask for a lot, and that's different. But when you ask me for your own needs, for Panos or whatever, you don't ask like so that. So you that Pasek means open my mouth for Tila? For, I mean, I, no, it's for our Shayla. It's open my mouth, fill me up. Yeah, like no, Hashem Shafu. What's the answer? The answer is when he's opening up his mouth, is that what the answer means? No, the an- no, it's a question. The question is, Hachbich Malayu means that you're asking, open up your mouth wide. That means give me a lot. So for divertary, you can ask for a lot. When you ask for Parnas, you don't ask Hashem, give me, I need uh, millions, hundreds of millions, I don't know whatever you're missing about. But, um, that's also means he's asking for divertary. Right, yeah. that's actually not asking for divertary. He's asking, divertary is also things. Okay. <laughs> divertary also, you need a tefillah. The Gemara, right, we learned the Gemara at the beginning of Brachas. Right, if you want to, if you want to be a Talmud Chacham, you should learn a lot, and you should down for it also, you have to down for it. Fine. The tiny Rebbe, I remember, betuvay chayinu, I raised the Tama Chacham. If you say betuvay chayinu, our life, our everybody together, I raised the Tama Chacham because you put everybody together. Chayim, however, you say betuvay chayim, that means you're excluding yourself from everybody else. I raised the board that's uh, ignoramus. Okay, Nahar Baloi, Masni Ibchad Nahar Baloi understood it just the opposite. Why? Because they understood Chaim, what does Chaim mean? Chaim means, if you say Betuva Chaim, what does that mean? It means the whole world, you give life to the whole world. So that's a great praise of Hashem, that's, uh, you're saying the whole world, even though you're not saying yourself, but you're saying the whole world. When you say Chayinu, that means only people sitting around the table. So what's greater? It's greater to praise, to praise Hashem for people around the whole world. So um, that's what they understood just the opposite. However, the law is not like them. Okay, Amar Rabbi Yechana, Navar Shachalnu Mishalai, I raise the Tamil Chacham. If you say Navar Shachalnu Mishalai, that uh, bench us from the food that's yours, I raise the Tamil Chacham, that's Tamil Chacham. Lemisha Chalnu Mishalai. If you say for who the food belongs to, I raise a bar. Why? Because when you say Lemisha Chalnu Mishalai, if you're a guest at somebody's house, so you say Lemisha Chalnu Mishalai, who has the food? Whose food is it? It's the owners, the the Baal Vais is, um, food. So Misha Chalam Shalai would mean that you're benching the Baal Vais, but that's not what you should do. You're supposed to bench Hashem. So that's what you say. You say Shachalam Shalai, whoever the original food comes from, which that's uh, God. I raise it. So if you say Misha Chalam Shalai, I raise a bar. I'm like Ravacha, the Raider of Allah Ravashi. I'm reading Misha Aslav Asenu. How can you say that you can't point? Because when you say Misha Chalam Shalai, it means to whoever the food belongs to. However, when we say by the say the we say the Misha Asla Vesena Volanos Kolanisa Meilu, we say whoever did for us all these miracles to our fathers and forefathers. So we say whoever did. So we see clearly that you can say to whoever this is. Ramalei, it's not a raya. Over there, it's not a proof. Why? Because Hacham Mochla Milsa. Over there, it's proven that my of Nisa, Kutchabrichl, it's clear over there that who does the Nisim? God. But over here, if you say whoever this food belongs to, it's not proof for whoever it belongs to. It could be that uh, you mean the Balabais. And so, um, but by Nisim, it's different. But when you say miracles, obviously you mean Hashem. Amr Rabbi Yechanan. Rabbi Yechanan said, Baruch Shachal Mishlei, I raise the Tam Chacham. If you say Baruch Shachal Mishlei, I raise the Tam Chacham. However, that means that whoever gives uh, food. However, if you say Allah Mazen Shachal on the food that we ate, I raise a bar. Why? Because it's almost like you're benching the food. Allah Mazen Shachal No is is like you're benching. You're thanking the food. That's right. When you say Nevarech, so you have a choice. Either you can say Nevarech Shachal Mishalai, or you can say Nevarech Alamazin Shachal Nu. So Nevarech Shachal Mishalai means that you're benching Hashem, that all the food is His. Nevarech Alamazin Shachal Nu means that you Nevarech Alamazin Shachal I want to bless the food that I ate. So it means you're benching the food that I ate. However, when you have a minion, Abu Basara, the Ikashem Shemayim, Mukhamilsa. It's proven, it's clear that when you say when you have Asar, you have a mini. So what do you say? You say Navar Khalikainu, so then you can even say Allah Mazin Shachanu, because it's clear that you're thanking God. You say Navarakh Elikainu, blanch the bench the blessed of Hashem, Shahmazin, Allah Mazin Shachanu, on the food that I ate. So uh, that's clear what you mean, so then you could do that. 
Kitnan Kenu Shuma Bar Kachainan, we learned that the, we have a proof from this because uh, we learned that the same way in the mission, we learned the same way the person says Navarach, everybody answers. That means if you say Navarach Shachalnu Mishla, then everybody answers Navarach Shachalnu. If you say Navarach Alekenu, everybody answers Navarach Alekenu. If you say Navarach Hashem Alekenu, so on and so forth. So in the Mishnah we said that everybody answers what? They say, Baruch Hashem, Alekei Yisrael, Alekei Tzavok, Yesher V'Kruvim, Alamaz and Shachalnu. In that case it's clear, so therefore you could even end off Alamaz and Shachalnu instead of Shachalnu uh, Mishla. Okay. Now the Mishnah said, Achad Asav, Achad Asav There's no difference between 11 and 11, 10,000. 11 times 10,000. So the Gemara says, I don't understand. We said there is no difference between 11 and 11, 10,000 times 10,000. Rubai is 10,000. So it's 11. It's 110,000. No, it's just Echad. With respect, one thing is for. 11. And one thing is Achad Asav, Rubai. 11, and 1 is 11. So um, so the Gemara says like this, okay, the fact is, right after, if you remember the Mishnah, the Mishnah says that there is a differentiation between 10, 100, 1,000, and 10,000. So uh, how can you say that there is no difference? So the Gemara says, First you say that they're, that they're exact the same. Then after you differentiate between uh, 10, 100, 1,000, and 10,000. Amar Yosef Lekasha. It's not sure. It's not. It's not a question. Why? Because Har of Yosef Glili. This that we differentiate is going going to Yosef Glili. Har of Akiva. This that we do not differentiate between numbers is going going to Akiva. It's not Yosef Glili. How do I know that I differentiate between numbers? Bilfi Roiv Akol Heim Avarchin. That we differentiate according to those that are assembled. According to the assembly, they bench Hashem. So we go according to those that are assembled. So if there's many assembled, you say one thing. If there's not so many assembled, you say something else, and so on. Amar Rabbi Kiva, Ma Mitzinu Beis Aknesses. However, Rabbi Kiva argues, and Rabbi Kiva says that the same way in Shul, you say Baruch Hu Hashem Am Varich doesn't make a difference if you have ten or if you have a hundred thousand. So, so too by benching, it does not make a difference how many people you have over ten. Rabbi Kiva agrees that under ten you don't say lekenu. Rabbi Kiva high crowd Rabbi Yisai Glili my overlay. However, we learned before that Rabbi Yisai Glili brought a pasuk to prove himself that you differentiate between those that are assembled. How many are assembled? So what's Rabbi Kiva going to do with that pasuk? He says, I need it for something else. We learned in a Bryce as follows. How do we know when God split the sea, everybody said Shira? How do we know that even the fetus in the mother's womb said Shira too? Shanamar, because says in the Pasim Maka, Halois, Barko, Alekim, Hashem, Mimaka Yisrael. In the assemblies, when they were assembled, they benched Hashem, Mimaka Yisrael, from the source of Yisrael. So it means that those that were assembled, even in the source, even in the womb, also said, Shira. Praise to Hashem, Shira. The Idach, what is the other, what does Rabbi Yisrael really do with this Pasuk, Makar Yisrael? He says, Naf, Imi Makar Nafka. He learns it out only from the word Makar. So he you, uses Makalois to teach us that this is a differentiation in how many are assembled. And Imi Makar Yisrael is going on the case of Yamsuf and those that were in the source, were in the womb, they said Shira too. What's, what's that Pasuk from? Where's the Pasuk? It's in Tehillim. Amar Rava, halacha k'rebekiva. The halacha is like k'rebekiva that we do not differentiate between the uh, amount of people that are there. Ravina Rav Chama Barbuzi iklo le'beiras gulusa. Ravina Rav Chama Barbuzi. They went and they ate by the resgulusa. Come Rav Chama, the come mahadar abe mea. Rav Chama got up and he was looking. I, obviously, there were a lot of people there. And he was looking to uh, bench, so he was looking for a hundred people. I guess he assumed that there was uh, over a hundred people. So he wanted to make sure that when he benches, he should have a hundred people, because you say different uh, benching by a hundred people. Amal Aravina, leitzichas hachi, what are you running after so many people? Amal Rav, Allah HaGarbakiva, we know that Allah HaGarbakiva, and if the Allah HaGarbakiva, we do not differentiate over ten. So what are you running after to make sure there's a hundred people? Amal Rav, Stop. Another story. Amar Rava, Kechlin on Rifsa Bei Reshkulusa. When I uh, ate by the Reshkulusa, what they used to do is Mevarchin on Gimel Gimel. They would. Uh, there were a lot of people, as we saw before. There was a uh, hundred people even. What they would do is they would bench three and three. They would make a small zeman together, and then later on, when the Reshkulusa would bench loud, they would answer again. So the Gemara asks, I don't understand. If there were so many people, you have to say Elikeinu. If you have to say Elikeinu, Vilevarchu Yud Yud, why aren't you bench at least a half a million everybody together? Why are you making small little Zimun only three? You should bench a ten. 
So he said no. Why? Because he's scared. The Shaman Resclusive Ikvit. Maybe when you're going to say, if you're going to gather ten people together, so you're going to make a lot of noise. And if you make a lot of noise, the Reish is going to hear, and then he's going to get insulted. And uh, insulting somebody is a, is a derisa. You're not going to insult somebody. But to say the difference between a Zimun of saying Elekeinu and not saying Elekeinu is not a derisa. So um, you can do it. So therefore, they would gather small, just three people, and make a Zimun. So the Gemara asks, I don't understand, once you're already at that point and you're making a zimun and everybody's staying, nobody was leaving early anyway. Mm-hmm. So if you're not leaving early anyway, the nifka but because of the Reish Kalusa, I don't understand. Why don't you just be yaitza with the zimun of the Reish Kalusa? Why are you going first and everybody's making a small zimun beforehand and then going, staying there till the end and, and benching with the Reish Kalusa? What's the point? You're not gaining anything. You're losing. You missed Elikainu. And you missed Elikainu. If you're not gaining anything and you missed Elikainu, so you, you're definitely not gaining anything. You even lost Elikainu. So what's the point? So the Gemara says, I did the He says no because there's so many people. So uh, let's say like Rashi that the, they couldn't hear the whole benching. You know, if, 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 today everybody benches on their own, but uh, then they want to be yitzu with benching, so you couldn't hear the benching. So if you can't hear the benching, that goes together with the zimun. So what's the point? So you might as well bench. You make a zimun yourself. Amarabo, Toisvoi, Hani Gimel, the Karchi. Rafsa Bahade Dodi, three people that broke bread that ate together, if the Kadim Khadvi Nayu Barakla Date and one of them went by himself and benched on his own without making a zimun, Inu Nafka Mizimu Dide. They can use him to make a zimun. However, even though he benched already. However, Ihul and Nafka Mizimu the two, but he cannot be yates with the zimun of theirs. Why? Because he benched already. And you go, don't go Lamafre, you don't go retroactively. Once he benched it's finished, the fish ain't zimun mafreya. Because the zimun can't go backwards. He doesn't get any credit. He doesn't get any credit for zimun, but they do, they can use him. Lamaisa, um, just uh, you should just know because the story of the Rashigus is very uh negate for for Allah. When you go eat uh, by a wedding, there's a lot of people. So if you want to bench separately, so uh, obviously we see over here that if you're gonna embarrass the host by making a minion and you get ten people together, then you shouldn't do it. If you're not then you should just do three. Obviously you're not allowed to leave without three. But if you if you're not gonna embarrass him, then you should try to make ten. Um, there are people that hold that th- the whole idea is that only if you have a mind that you're gonna eat together. So some people are mockbit that when they bend they, when they wash, they have a mind that they're eating the meal themselves. They have nothing to do, they're just they're sitting on the same table. It's not the only time you could sit, if you go to a restaurant or a bar or something, you could eat on the same table without knowing the guy next to you. So, um, you're eating yourself. And uh, if you're eating yourself, you don't need a zimun. But, uh, what? So that's for sure not a suda If you're eating yourself, you're just uh, snoring. Listen, the guy sent you an invitation, he sent you a free meal, why not? Okay. Rabbi Shmuel Aimer. Send the pulk uh, uh, in the mail. Yeah, you can take it out. Okay. Rabbi Shmuel Aimer. Rabbi Shmuel Aimer. Rabbi Shmuel says that you say Baruch Hu Hashem Amavayrach, right? You don't say Baruch Hu. Rabbi Kiva said you say when you go up you say Baruch Hu Hashem. Rabbi Shmuel said no, you say Baruch Hu Hashem Amavayrach. That's what we do today. Rafram Bar Papa. The Gemara says the story. Rafram Bar Papa Iklobe Knishta the Abi Gaver. He went to 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 Shul of Abi Gaver. Kam Kara Besafra. And he got an aliyah. But Amr Baruch Hashem veIshtek. He said Baruch Hashem, and that's it. He didn't say I'm a Baruch. Why am I a Baruch? Av Shukul Amr Baruch Hashem. So uh, the whole um, 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 call, the whole crowd in, in protest said loudly, Baruch Hashem, I'm a Baruch. They answered back, um, not like he said. Amr Rava, Rava told him, Pasi Ochma, you black vessel. Because it seems like a Tamil Chacham didn't uh, care so much about his clothing, so his clothing was ba- black. So he called him on that. He said, "Black vessel, why are you sticking? You sticking into that uh, machlekes? You have nothing to gain." And also, the world is naig. The meaning of the world is like a So why are you why are you doing anything different? Okay, we talk a pasuk. Baruch Hashem Alvarech. Zok Mishnah. Three people that ate together cannot separate. They have to make a zimun, right? So that means if you want to leave early, you have to make a zimun, and then you can leave. V'chein dal, v'chein chamisha. However, vav nechlokin, six adasara. Six to ten, they can split into two groups. That means uh, six to nine, really, right? Uh, till ten. V'asara, in nechlokin, and ten, because they have to say, the king cannot split till twenty. Shtei chaburah, shayoichlum, beis achat. Two chaburahs, two groups that uh, had a mind to eat together. However, they were eating together in two separate rooms. B'zman shem etzasin, rei neilu aseilu. If they see each other, harei elu mitzarf, and they could be mitzarf together, le zimun. If they cannot see each other, then they cannot uh, make a zimun. You do not make a bracha on wine. Back in the day, in the Mishnah's times, wine was very, very sharp. And the only way to, be, to drink it was if you add the two-thirds of water. So, um, 
And the Mishnah tells us that you can't make a bracha, a bayi priya on wine until you add water. That you can't make, you can make a gafen on uh, grape juice, on the wine, even before you do add the water. We'll see the Gemara. What, what, what was the concern here? What's he because it's not it's not drinkable, it's not edible. When it's too sharp, yeah. it doesn't get a uh, rough. Okay, Maika Mashmalan. So the Gemara asked Maika Mashmalan, what are you telling me this uh, chiddush of the uh, Gimel Shachol Kaachas? You tell me that you need a zimun. We know that already. Chadis Nema. We learned already once Gimel Shachol Kaachas Chayv and Lazamin. We learned already. We know that three people have to make a zimun together. What's your chiddush over here? So you say Hakam Mashmalan Ki Hod Omer Rababa Omer Shmuel. We're having a different another chiddush. What's the chiddush? That Gimel Shachol Lachol Kaachas. That the point is. It, it depends on a person's mind. It depends what he wants to do. It doesn't depend on what you actually ate. That means that if Gimel Shiyosu Lechol Gachas, if three people sit down together to eat, they have a mind, they say, oh, come, let's go sit down and eat. Now what happens is, Vadayin Le'achlu, and they didn't eat yet, Einer Yishayi Lechol, they still cannot split. Let's say one guy ate, and the other guy is still waiting to order, right? If you go out to a restaurant, you go out to eat, it can happen. Right? Well, you, you, you sit down to eat together, and uh, one guy gets his food, and the other people don't, and uh, they, he wants to leave already. He can't leave till he makes his imam. Lishnach Rina, another Lashon, is a little different Kiddush. Not only is if they eat in, in one bread, Lishnach Rina, Amar Baba, Amar Shmuel, Hachik Tani, Gimel Shiyashu Lechel Kachas, Afti Shakol Echel Lechel, Achel Mikikroi, Einir Yishan Lechalik. If a person, even if they did not eat from the same bread, if they have different sandwiches, different breads, then they can, then they still not let a split if they had a mind to eat together. So that's the case of the restaurants. I'm saying today we don't eat from the same bread, most people. So, um... Um, even though it's a separate bread and separate portions, you still cannot split if you had a mind to sit down together to eat. Inami, another chedesh. Ki hadar avuna, damar avuna. Ravuna said as follows. Gimel shabo, mi gimel chaburis. What happens like this? Let's say we have three separate groups sitting and eating separately. Then what happened was, ener yishari nechalik. They cannot split up. Amar of Chizda, what does he mean? He means as follows. What happened was like this. You have three separate groups. Three separate groups. Now, those three separate groups, one person out of each group came together in the middle. Let's say they were schmoozing and three guys, oh, hey, what's up? And they ended up together on the table. Okay? Now, those separate groups, what happens to them? Because now originally he started eating with those separate groups. Now he found a new group to sit down and eat with. Amar Rava, as follows. What happens... You know when that they can uh, make a zimun together? If those, the original groups that these three people were by, they did not make a zimun. And the original place, they did not make a zimun. It means like as follows. I'll explain to you outside because a little, it's my click, you're exactly how it works. We'll learn like Rashi. The, what happens is like this. Let's say the original groups, they have original groups. <coughs> now, a one, there's three groups. One person from each group goes out and they form a new group. Now, if the original group, when, when the, before the person left the group, if they benched together, so even though this guy goes and they form a new group, and let's say they eat again, they, can't, they don't make a zimun, because he was yates already with the zimun beforehand. Obviously, he still has to bench, that's for sure, right? Even if he didn't bench, he just made a zimun with them, he, he still has to bench again, but the zimun he doesn't have to make again. They all three don't have to make a zimun. However, if the original group did not make a zimun when they were there, then they each of the, one of each group separated and formed a new group, the original group, if they, then the new groups make their own zimun, and the old groups also makes a zimun on their own. How can the old group make a zimun if one guy separated? Obviously, we're talking about a case four. where there was four in the original groups. So we had original four groups. They formed a new group, and now they had four groups of three each. Okay? Maybe the, uh, after they, go, they bench, they have to go back to the first group and, and join them. To bench? No, benching, you can bench on your own. It doesn't, no, you need they're talking about zimun. They can go back and still form, even though they bench, we just learned you can still... Oh, you want to use them? Yeah, okay, that's yeah, okay. As long as they did yeah, that, uh, but no, but we're talking about that he did it. You mean if, let's say, he didn't do his email, if you could pull him back? There's no need to pull him back, but you can. You're right, but there's no need for it. He's asking us that what? They didn't need together. So what happens is we're talking about a case. What's what's the chiddush? Like what's the point? The case is that now they eat together. Okay, they're eating a gishmak. Uh, what? Obviously, yeah. Okay. So the continues. The keep continues. That's it. It's finished. What's the happened? And why did we think that they couldn't? Right, so I said, because let's say the new group goes and they eat again 
a kezayis together. So I would think maybe now they would have to make another zimun. Kamash one that we ate already, and once once you, you have a zimun, we say ain zimun mafreya, and uh, it's over already. That's it. They're done. Okay, look. If I'm sitting at a meal and I can I answer the zimun to somebody, you're done. You're done. You're done. You're done. You're done. You're done. That's it. That's why the problem is if you're in a wedding and you join a small group and you're sticking around and they they can't do it again. You miss all the You miss the allocation. Yeah, yeah, I never knew that. Yes or no? So if you're sitting around, then you shouldn't answer. If you're only that's what we learned from the Reish Kaluso. Only if you're not going to stay, or if you won't be able to hear, then you should answer. If not, don't answer. Okay. Amarav, Aminah Aminah, how do I know this idea that there's no such a thing as a zim I'm afraid that once you once you did already zim, you can't do it again. Aminah Aminah, it's not. Mita, we see the same thing by Tumah, because we know that a utensil is Makabal Tumah, right? That means a kli, something that's whole is Makabal Tumah. And so to a bed, it's not. Mita, Shinnignava, a bed, if part of a bed was stolen, or half of it was lost, or two brothers split it in Yerusha, or two partners split it. So it was Tumah to begin with, it was Tumah to begin with, and now it was split. So now that it's split, it's a half a bed. A half a bed is worthless. So um, what's the halacha? The halacha is it's Tahira, it's not a clear anymore. However, now what happens if he goes and buys that, his partner convinces his brothers or finds it or gets it back from the stolen person? From now on, it could be Mekabal Tumah again. However, it doesn't get back, it doesn't resuscitate previous. The, the previous Tumah that was there. It's Tahar now, and, and now in the future, it can, it can become Tumah again, because it's a clean Mekan Laba. However, Mekan Laba, in my friend, light, only Mekan Laba doesn't become Tumah, but my friend doesn't go back retroactively. Alma, even the Pogua, Parak Le Tumah. So we see, once he split it, the uh, Tumah dissipates. Mina, Hakinamik, even the Azmalaya, Parak Zimunai. So too, over here, once you make a Zimun, Parak Zimunai, the Zimun uh, dissipates, disappears. It's fine. Okay, base Chaburais, if we have two Chaburais. So if we have two Chaburais, we said that if they see each other, they can bench together. Now we learn, Tanaim Yeh Shamish Beinayim. Mishamish Mitzarfan. If they have a Shamish in between, even though they can't see each other, the Shamish is Mitzarfan. Again, this is only talking about a case of you want to eat together. If you, you're sitting in a restaurant and you see there's a bunch of males around you, doesn't mean that you have to make a Zimun, right? Because you don't want to eat together. Okay. Wait, 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 the Shamish is Mitzarfan himself did it? Or is it that's besides. With that we learned that depends on the mission before, how much he ate or not. But the Shamish, even without that, it seems the Shamish and Mitzarfan is two he's groups. Not, he's not oh. He's linking. Uh, yeah, he's linking them. Amy Barkan So he said you don't make a Bayer Pragafen on wine unless you add water and then you can drink it. So Tanraban and Yayin actually knows from the Mayim Amy Barkan Love. Wine till you add water to it. Again, this is only back in the day. Today if a cat of a herzog adds water to it, you should give it back to him. So um what? So that's like the grape juice, the, the, the light grape juice. It's already diluted. They diluted it already. Okay. Yayin actually knows from the Mayim Amy Barkan Love. Uh, wine, till you add water on it, you can't make a Mavarkan love, Bayer Pregoffin. You cannot make a Bayer Pregoffin. Ella, Bayer Pregoffin. You make a Bayer Pregoffin. Why do you make a Bayer Pregoffin? Because uh, grapes are made for the fruit, right? The grapes are made for the fruit. So therefore, you make a Bayer Pregoffin. You don't make a Shahakal on it, you make a Bayer Pregoffin. But it didn't go up to the Milo. It's not as good as wine. It doesn't have that whole special category. So you don't make a Lagoffin. And you can use it to wash your hands because Midin. The law is that you're allowed to use uh, fruit juice or water to wash your hands. You're just not allowed to use wine or oil. But uh, fruit juice is mutter to use. Pop is also lachar, okay? It's not lachar, it is okay. And it's not considered like going for waste because you're using it for a very good cause. You're washing your hands. So, the night of the men who dying. What? I said with orange soda, it's a flesh water. Okay. The Vinaita Manuli Daim. You should not say Mayan. Allah When um, you put water in it, then it turns into wine. You know, as if wine. So and now it um, like what we call wine, the mile of wine. And then you make a bar pyagoffin. The inaita manu daim, so you can't wash your hands with it anymore because that goes hand in hand. Diver of Lazar. The guy's like Shiva's right. The Khamai Mim Bakah Bank Khama Bakan Allah Bar Pyagoffin, even before you dilute it with water. It still has the mile of wine. It's just concentrated wine. But it's wine. It's wine. So, uh, therefore, the ain't no manual time. Therefore, you cannot wash your hands with it either. The Gemara says, Come on, Oslo. How do I shmuel? I saw them cold sark of a pass. He says, Who is this halacha go that you said you could wash your hands even with fruit juice? Because the truth is, fruit juice should be drunk, right? It's a waste. If you would see somebody wash his hands with fruit juice, you'd say, Come on, what are you doing? So, um, the idea is that, that it's true using it for something, but um, you shouldn't. 
So the Gemara says, who's this halacha go according to that you can use food for whatever you want, that it doesn't have a special chashivas? Uh, you can do whatever you want with bread. So if you want to make a design and hang it up in your room, to, uh, you, you can do that also with bread. Because uh, bread is something. It does, maybe you shouldn't trample it, you shouldn't waste it. We're not talking about wasting over here, we're talking about using it. So command Kiravulaz I saw them called Trachov Pass. Command Kiravulaz Arm Race Rakanina, Maidim Kachomim however Gravity is it. You're right. Amar beis rakhanina meidim chachamim l'arvelaz of kaisha bracha. However, the chachamim that we said before that we don't have to reconstitute the concentrated wine to to add water to it in order to make it very very often. However, they agree that kaisha bracha sheim bracha nov atchi itun zeichem mayim. Kaisha bracha, you should wait till you add water to it. My time, Amar beis should be in your mitzvah, be in a mitzvah and a mufcher. You want it to be uh, by when you do a mitzvah with it, you should do a mitzvah and a mufcher. So Agav, that's the reason why this halacha came in. If you look, it's a little problematic because the Mishnah is discussing zimun. All of a sudden, in the middle of the Mishnah, we're discussing a bracha of concentrated wine. How did this come in? That should have been in the paragraph beforehand. We're talking about zimun in this paragraph. That's not Ketzim So uh, the answer they give is because um, the point is what can be used to make a zimun on. Because Minadin, uh, you should make a zimun on uh, yain. That's Koshev. Uh, some people today are mocked, but also to do to even though it's brought down a lot, even one person maybe should be mocked to use a case. But the case they use definitely has to be um, added water, even according to the Chachamun. So now the Gemara asks like this, I don't understand. When you have sharp wine, wine that's undiluted, what are you, what are you going to use it for? Why does it have agafin? You have to realize that it has to be edible. I have to be able to use it for something. So you can't make an agafin on it if it's not good, if it's not edible. So uh, if you can't drink it. So how can you make agafen? How do you see the maila? How do you see this chashivus of wine in this uh, sharp wine that can't, that nobody drinks it? Rabban al chazi, what is it good for? Amar zeri chazi l'karaiti. It's good for a type of drink that they used to add spices to it, spices and honey. They used to add that to it, so to that it's good. Now that doesn't, you just add certain spices, but the main ingredient is wine. So it's missing a little bit, but it's not missing enough to lose the bracha of bayer agafen. Okay. Tana Abanan, if you go to Algachos, they give you a spicy wine. Tana Abanan for free. Tana Abanan, Dalad Varim Nam Rubapas. There are four things that were said in the halachas of how to treat bread, that they do, that they are chashev. Eimenichem Basachai Alapas, you do not put raw um, uh, meat on top of bread because it ruins it. Ve'en Mavirim Kais Mole Alapas. Now you don't pass a full cup because you ask any uh, careful man, you know, if you get nervous that the cup is at the edge of the table, you definitely shouldn't pass it over bread because it might spill and it might uh, oh, make it ruin it, right? Okay. Veins are can as a pass and don't throw, you don't throw bread because it's not the covet to throw, it's not becoming to throw bread. What? They throw bread? You're not supposed to. That's right. Okay. They ain't some sometimes the rabbis do it. Okay. But the five ain't some because akara and you can't use it to lean a plate on it, papa. You don't use it to lean. You give it, you got to give bread as satiates man. Bread is the foundation of our uh, life, so you got you got to give it respect. They broke bread together, they ate together. They were eating um, pomegranates and dates. Shakul Mazutur Pasak Lakame, Mazutra took and he threw the Kame the Ravashi Dustana. He threw it him Dustana. Dustana is either is either in, in meat or or maybe it's even fruit, but the point is Dustana is something that when you throw it, it didn't get ruined. Okay, so whatever it is, like if you could throw you, there's many foods that you can throw, it won't get ruined. Right? Uh, if you throw maybe an egg, so it might get ruined. But uh, if you throw a piece of, a piece of a schnitzel, so it won't get ruined, so you lie to throw it. Do you not hold what we learned in the Bryce about what? In Zarkin as You're not allowed to throw food. Any food, food, you have to give it its respect, and you're not allowed to throw it. So he answered back, he said, No, I heave a past penny. That's talking about uh, bread. Only bread, you're not allowed to throw. But any other fruit, your food, if it doesn't get ruined, you want to throw a cantaloupe, throw it. But tiny, shame, shame, Zarkin as a pass. Kach ain't Zarkin as a But we learned in the Bryce the same way you do not throw bread, you're not allowed to throw any other food. Amalei, but tiny, Apple, he shame, Zarkin as a pass. Avos Zarkin as He said, "No, we learned differently." He said, "Even though you do not throw bread, but you allowed to throw different uh, eichlin."
So he says, uh, so it comes out, it's a stira, because we have one Bryce that says you're not allowed to throw bread, one Bryce that says you are, you're not allowed to any other food. So the claw is that if it gets ruined, you're not allowed to throw it. So even if you throw uh, some people, I don't know, as far as them have the minute to throw even the rice or whatever it is, you shouldn't throw it. If it gets ruined, you shouldn't throw it. If the uh, Ashkenazim, they throw uh, candies or wrap things, so you're allowed to throw it. And they're like, Tish, you're talking about Tish, the Rav is to throw apples. Apples don't get ruined. You can uh, throw apples. You got an apple. Okay, I hope it helps. Bread. Turn up on them. Bread doesn't get ruined. No? Bread doesn't get ruined. What? Bread doesn't so bread is special. Bread is special that even though it doesn't get ruined, that's right, bread doesn't get ruined, even though it doesn't get ruined, you still shouldn't throw it. Okay. So, uh, Lamaisa, that's Allah Lamaisa. Lamaisa, that's you see. Okay, let's uh, see a little further. Turn up on them. I'm shikhan yayim bitsinuris. What they used to do is, it seems, they would pour, they would have like a long pipe, and they would pour, they would want to show the, the simcha, and they want to show that their, their life should flow like uh, wine or something like that, so they would pour wine inside a pipe. Now the pipe would go through, but it wouldn't get ruined, they would put a cup at the end of the pipe, maybe like some uh, fountain, like a, uh, what? Yeah, Tivoli Gardens. No, more than a funnel, but it was more like a, 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 pipe. a pipe, and at the end they would catch it with a cup. A hose, huh? So there was not like a hose type of idea, so there was nothing wrong with that. What? Just have the song lying up so Right, that's it. Right, oil with the cup. Open your mouth and I will fill it. Okay, so, uh, Mamshikhi Yayim, it's nice to make a and also, Vizarkin of name, this is what we do today. Clay is that guy's allowed to throw uh, nuts and, um, toasted grain. Toasted grain. They're like candy. It, they're, they're like, like our candy today. But you might say, Kami, you're allowed to do this in the summertime. I believe you might say, Shamim, not in the wintertime because it gets ruined. But not like small breads, like uh, cookies. But loy bimay sechamim, loy bimay sechamim. That is a special lock you shouldn't do even in the winter or summer. Not come. Sorry.